I am Andrew Ryan, and I'm here to ask you a question. Is a man not entitled to the sweat of his brow? No, says the man in Washington, it belongs to the poor. No, says the man in the Vatican, it belongs to God. No, says the man in Moscow, it belongs to everyone. I rejected those answers. Instead, I chose something different. I chose the impossible. I chose rapture. Hi, YouTube, it's Lucas here, jump-starting my career on YouTube once again, thank God. And this is like to review one of my favorite games of all time, Bioshock, time Bioshock the Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, and the PC. Now, what's to say about Bioshock that hasn't already been said? This is basically a sci-fi game, it's, it tops everything. It's a sci-fi slash first-person shooter, and it just tops everything in that kind of genre. Just far beyond, it's phenomenal. Now, the one thing about this game that really drags you in is the story, and that's probably the best part of it. Uh, although this game has great gameplay, I think the story just is what, oh, you know, it just sets it over the top. Now, you are Jack, who is the lone survivor of an airplane crash in the Atlantic Ocean, and uh, he sees the, uh, a giant lighthouse, and he goes there to take refuge, and he takes a bathysphere, which is a vessel, down into the city of Rapture. And Rapture is a city created by Andrew Ryan, which is underwater, where Andrew Ryan basically he creates his own government. No socialism, no capitalism, uh, no Marxism. He creates his own city and his own government, which is it's his ultimate downfall. Phenomenal story. Phenomenal. And there's things in this game called Adam and uh, little girls, which are uh, protected by the big daddies, as you've seen, the people with the big drills. Uh, they harvest the atom, which gives people superhuman abilities, which modifies their genetic makeup. They can uh, use telekinesis, they can uh, set things on fire, they can, uh, set, they can hit them with electricity, you can freeze them over, you can set bees after people. It's phenomenal. There's a lot of things you can do with all your whole genetic makeup. And how do you get this atom? You harvest little girls. Now the little girls have their they have a, a slug inside them, which is the atom, and it's in their stomachs. The only way to get atoms is they're harvesting them through little girls. And the splicers, which are the inhabitants of Rapture, are constantly going after little girls, and the big daddies are there to protect them. And you can either destroy the big daddies and um, harvest the little girl, or you can let them go. Now harvesting them will give you a bad ending. Now harvesting gives you more atom, but it gives you a bad ending at the overall game, and it affects it. Now, if you, um, say, let the little girl go, which is rescuing her, you get the good ending. Now, me being the morally corrupt bastard that I am, I got the shitty ending because I harvested most of them. Got me a lot more Adam, therefore give me a lot of gene, um, gene upgrades. So, that's the story of Bioshock, and it really is an epic story. Now, there's characters like Atlas, um, Andrew Ryan, Tenenbaum, but you're gonna have to, I don't really want to spoil their characters because I want you to play it for yourself. Phenomenal game, it really is over the top. Now, for the game's gameplay, it's slick. It runs extremely smooth. There's no hitches whatsoever in the gameplay. The gameplay is very smooth. There is no frame rate problems whatsoever. Um, sometimes it's a little pop in here and there. Um, so there really isn't a lot of technical issues. The graphics are phenomenal. You know, being 2007, which you know, which is like a year and a half, two years ago. It still holds up to the test of time, you know, after two years. There are games that have come out on 360, but still have not been topped yet. Um, Bioshock still holds up top for amazing graphics. So, the thing I like for this game is actually, it's actually pretty high because the game is just so addicting and so much fun. You're going to want to replay it again to see what kind of gene upgrades you can do. Um, you might want to try to harvest the little girls, all of them. You might want to try to save them just to alter the ending. Phenomenal game. Phenomenal, phenomenal game. I really could praise this game enough. Um, but there are some problems with it. Sometimes it's difficult to get to the little bit of the top. Um, sometimes a lot, there's a lot of backtracking involved with, uh, especially the missions where you have to build a Lazarus Vector. That really pissed me off. And uh, there's a lot of backtracking in some missions, which is kind of a downfall because it's too repetitive. But other than that, there's a lot of different the other places, the other bosses, right? there's a lot of there's a lot of variety in the game. You know, variety is the spice of life, and it really you know holds true. So Bioshock, I really can't praise this game enough. Phenomenal game. I really have no choice but to give it a nine and a half out of ten. I I think this game is phenomenal. If you don't have it, I really highly suggest to pick up, and get it for either the uh, 
PlayStation 3, the PS3, or the PC. But I, I suggest it for the console, though, so, because that's how I game. But anyway, uh, Bioshock, 9.5 out of 10. Expect an extra few coming up within the next few weeks. And thank you for watching, you guys, and I'll talk to you later. Later.